welcome back to my channel. So today I have another review for you guys. I know it's been a while I haven't done a review, so I thought it would be the perfect time to do a review of this foundation from Too Faced. This is their newest foundation called Born This Way, which launches on June 15th. So I really wanted to get this review for you guys up before it launches. That way, you know, you guys can see for yourselves if it's worth buying or not. I will let you guys know right off the bat that this foundation, I really love it, especially right now for the summertime because I'm not really looking for a really matte foundation um, so I think it's a perfect foundation and the, the perfect timing for it to launch um, what this foundation claims to say is that it's the undetectable medium to full coverage foundation as I am reading it off this card that they gave me at generation beauty I did receive this baby for free at gem beauty which I think a lot of you as well did because if you just went ahead and tried it out for yourselves they would give it to you for free so I'm not being sponsored anything I just really generally want to let you guys know my thoughts on it so I've been using it half of the day on Saturday the whole entire day yesterday and I also have been wearing half the day today so far I'm loving it I do have a few things that I don't like about it but that's just you know preference things um, this foundation I don't know what it will retail for but if I can find any information about it I will for sure have it down in the description box but let me just go ahead and read off the card what it claims to do and also what it's infused with that makes it you know stand out from the other foundations so it says that 100 people that tried out this foundation um is it that it blurred out their imperfections for me personally i feel like it really does a great job of blurring out all of those imperfections still have some scars here and there and so far you guys with this foundation it really just basically covered it all up you know it makes it seem like i have this flawless skin which in going into the second thing that it claims to do is that 98% of the people that tried it said that the foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect. So for me personally, I think it really does make it look almost perfect. It really does blur out, like I said, all of your imperfections. It makes it look like it's really airbrushed and just really nice looking, you know. And then 97% said that the foundation provided a natural coverage. For that, that's the thing that I kind of have to disagree with because even though I am wearing it and, you know, it really does give you a flawless finish, it does not look natural at all. People will still be able to tell you're wearing foundation. The three ingredients that makes this foundation very, like, I would say unique is that it has coconut water, which for me, I think that is a really great thing because it really does help every skin type. Even if you have dry skin all the way to oily skin, it will help any skin type. Second ingredient that it has though, that I really, really love and it's my favorite is Alpine Rose, which is supposed to brighten your skin and also promote elasticity. You guys know anything that promotes brightening up your skin and stuff like that. I'm all up for that. So I really like that it has that. And then the last ingredient is that it has hyaluronic acid, which is, you know, to create a smoother and more youthful appearance. So it really does help, you know, make it seem like you have this really flawless skin. Lots of people always try to look for a foundation that's really going to make their skin look really flawless, you know. I'm in the shade Warm Beige, which is what the lady matched me to. I would say this uh, is like kind of like almost my tanning color. So it really matches perfectly my body and everything. So I think it's like the perfect shade for me right now. This foundation does offer 12 shades. So I think that's a really great thing. That way anybody can really, you know, narrow it down to their actual perfect color. Now, as far as for the foundation of how well it works and how, what it feels like and everything, it is completely light. So you don't really feel it on your skin, which is a really great thing. And I know a lot of people look for in this foundation because nobody likes to feel like you're being caked up or anything. I have not tried two layers because literally you guys with one layer of this foundation, you're set to go. And you guys know how bad my scars are. That says a lot about this foundation, you know? So I really like that it's it feels really light and it gives you like this really flawless full coverage foundation. I won't say that it's super watery or even thick. It's kind of in between. But as you guys can see, it's not super thick to the point it's not running, but it's not super watery where it's like running right away all the way down. Um, it's just like right in between. I don't think anybody would hate this foundation just because, you know, the way it feels on the skin, the way it blends and everything. So now let me talk to you guys about how well it applies. So I've applied this foundation with a brush, a beauty blender, and also my hands. And let me tell you guys, all three things is exactly the same. There's no difference. Nothing's better than the other one. It just really is exactly the same. I love how well it blends as well. It just blends like a dream, you guys. Like 
it just glides on your skin like no other. My favorite brushes to apply it with are any kabuki brushes. And now to get into how long it lasts on your skin and if it moves, if it budges or anything. Um, this foundation, like I said, I wore it all the entire day yesterday. I wore it from the time that I woke up all the way until I went to sleep. And I woke up like around 8, somewhere around there. So by the time I was getting to my foundation, it was probably already like 9.15 I would say. And then I went to go to sleep like around 10 at night. And I wore it throughout the whole day. I only had a touch up once throughout the whole day. It did not move, it did not budge or anything. I mean, it just stayed completely the way I applied it in the beginning. I did apply my foundation with a primer the whole times that I've used it. I mean, I always apply a primer before a foundation, so you know, it obviously will, you know, make a difference in your in your foundation if you use a primer or not. So, I did apply it with a primer and I will be using it with a primer for this demo as well. I have found that other foundations I do have to touch up even more than once, but for this foundation so I could only touch up once it was an amazing thing. Now, if you have to ask me what this foundation is best for, like what skin type, I would say it's perfect for dry, normal, and combo skin. If you're an oily person, I feel like you would still not like it as much. I feel like, you know, there's better foundations out there, to be honest. Um, it's For me, personally, it's not like my holy grail foundation and like I'm not going like overly crazy for it because I still have to touch up throughout the day and, you know, it does not make anything to help me with my t-zone or anything like that so it's not like the perfect foundation if you could say um, but for anybody that's dry or normal girl this would be your perfect foundation this is how it looks like it really does remind me so much of the Giorgio Armani foundation because it is exactly almost the same thing the black cap and then the glass velvety um, packaging and it also comes with a pump so I feel like everybody's gonna love this that it has a pump because it keeps everything much more easier and cleaner so that's what I really like I don't know about the glass thing it's a love and hate for people because you know some people can easily drop things and you know things like that for me personally I don't mind it because my room does have rugs so if anything falls here it won't break um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the demo so you guys can see how well it applies and for, see for yourselves in real life like how it really does apply and just let you guys judge the foundation on it your own and then also for the demo I will be using my favorite method of applying it which is with a brush like I said so I will be using the Sigma 3 HD kabuki brush so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the demo. Before I begin applying my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and apply a primer. The one that I'm a, I've am i been obsessed with, you guys are probably going to see this in my May favorites, but this is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer, and I just absolutely love this stuff. It really does smooth out your, um, your skin, so it even works, I think, best with this foundation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this with my fingers. Okay, since it has a pump, I'm only going to pump out two pumps because that's literally all I need. So I'm going to go ahead and pump it in the back of my hand. There we go. Just two pumps. I'm going to go ahead and just dab, you know, a little bit on the foundation brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start pressing it in. You're going to see instantly that all of my scars... Are gonna vanish like they're just gonna be covered up okay so that pretty much covered up my whole entire face I do have a little bit left on the on my hand but this is how it looks now completely Full coverage like I said so I right away feel like it already set and I don't feel it kind of sticky or anything it just feels really nicely just set like sitting on my face and it pretty much covered up everything all of my imperfections so that's something I really love so yeah this is how the foundation looks like So now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back with you guys again. 
So I really hope the demo helped you guys get a better understanding of how well the foundation works on its own and how well it blends in and everything. Um, you guys should take into consideration as well that if you guys are willing to try this foundation out, if it will work with your everyday products as well that you use for an everyday, like for example, your concealer, your bronzer, your blush and everything else. For me personally, I feel like it works really amazing with the products I already incorporate into my everyday, which is my Too Faced bronzer, my highlighter and the concealer. I mean, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I really wanted to see how well it worked because you guys all know MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is really thick and heavy. So I wanted to see if it would make a huge difference, but it really didn't. So any other concealer, I know for sure it will work really great with this foundation. Um, but yeah, that's how, you know, it's well, it, it's been working on me. Like I said, so far, I really love this foundation. I feel like it's going to be a really great foundation for the summertime and also the winter time for me. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, I would be more than happy to answer them for you guys or anything that I miss, let me know. Uh, you guys know how I am with my reviews. Sometimes I skip some things and I'm like, oh God. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope the review was really helpful for you guys. If it was and you guys found it, you know, entertaining or anything, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And also for anybody that has not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way we keep on growing. And well, with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye